Hey everyone, uh, today I'll be going over leak code uh, 2044, count number of maximum bitwise or subsets. So given an integer array nums, you want to find the maximum possible bitwise or of a subset of nums, and then you want to return the number of different non-empty subsets with the maximum bitwise or. So this sounds very, very confusing, but basically what it means here is if you have 3, 2, 1, 5, right? and you or all of the numbers, which is the very maximum or we can have, it's seven. So we wanna count all the subsets that have that maximum or value. So let me tell you a secret, uh, if you didn't figure this out already. How to find the very maximum or of any subset in an array is just or all of the numbers. Nothing can be bigger than that, right? Because it is just literally getting all of the bits and it is oring them all. So to get the maximum, uh, all we're gonna do is just go through the numbers and or them all together. So I'm gonna call this max. Uh, it stands for like max or or whatever. We're just gonna go through the nums, right? Each num in nums, uh, I'm just gonna go max is or equal to num. Uh, this little uh, bar here means or, it's a ternary operator. So it's like plus equal or equal, right? So max should have like our very max or we can have. Now our next challenge is to find all the subsets that have this max here. So I'm actually gonna create uh, another variable here. Um, and uh, what I really want to do is actually, um, I'm just gonna make some global variable here. So I'll call this private int res. And this will be just so that we can do a recursive function just very simply. Um, and we're gonna call some recursive function, some backtracking method to help generate all the subsets or simulate the generation. We're not actually gonna store them anywhere. So the reason why we can do this, you're probably thinking that's pretty naive. You're generating all the subsets just to find the maximum or, well, if we look at the constraints, um, the nums length is bound between one and 16, right? Uh, so a max, if you remember the subsets, uh, the amount of subsets is two to the n. So if it's max gonna be two to the 16th, uh, what is that? Like uh, 65,536 or whatever it is. Um, that's really not that many iterations. So for this problem, it's okay. So now what we can do is we just want to recursively generate these, right? So we're gonna have some uh, internal function uh, called backtrack. Uh, it's gonna return nothing, but it's gonna take some nums and it's going to take a start. Now it's gonna take a start because I'll show you why. Uh, I don't even think I've gone over the subsets problem, so this might not make sense to some people, but yeah. So all we're doing is finding all the subsets, making sure it equals max and uh, incrementing res, right? So lastly, what we wanna do at the end is return res before we start the backtracking. And then we are going to start backtracking with nums and we're going to start at the first index. So now with this backtrack function, it's actually very simple. Um, each iteration, it's a new subset. And so right away at this point, we know it's a new subset. Um, like when we start this backtracking, we know an empty subset is a valid subset. So there's nothing in here yet. We're not actually going to like build these subsets. So we're not storing them anywhere, but we're just going to check what the current or value is. So we're actually gonna pass in a new parameter into backtrack and I'm gonna have this be um, int val. So value is gonna be our current or value of all the numbers in this subset. So what are we gonna do? Uh, we're gonna check if val is equal to max, right? And uh, what we really want to do here is we'll have another one. This is kind of silly, but uh, we'll put it outside globally here and we'll go like that. So, and I'll space these out to make it more readable so that we can access it right inside of here. So if val is equal to max, that means this current subset has the maximum possible bitwise or, right? So here at this point, uh, we're gonna go res plus plus. So then what we wanna do is we wanna go from start to end of this array. So int i is equal to start, i is less than nums.length, and i plus plus. So we do this start so that we get distinct subsets, right? So you pick back up where you left off. The next thing you wanna do is just start backtracking here. So backtracking back at nums, uh, start, the new start is going to be i plus one because we don't want to redo this one. Otherwise it'll be infinite. And the next, we're gonna add this num to val or or it, right? And I'll make this more clear. So right before it, I'll go val or equals uh, this nums at i. 
and it'll be like so. Now, this is a little weird and a little hairy because what we have to do here is we're iterating through and it's actually oring this number and it's gonna be modifying this. So we actually can't do it this way. Uh, so what we're really gonna do is val is or val with this current num. So like such. So yeah, this looks pretty good. So we're just, this is the, how do you generate all possible subsets, right? We're just gonna, when we get here, there's a new subset. We check, is it equal to the value? And then we just keep going through, right? Now let's go ahead and run this, see what happens. And yeah, it looks like it's pretty good. Let's submit this. And 88%, 59%, I'll take that. So let's talk about time and space really quick. Time, as I've alluded to, it's not very good. It's uh, we're recursively generating anything. It's actually on the order of two to the n. Uh, I'm gonna leave it like this, although we have this constraint where it's 16, so this isn't really that bad for this constraint, but given a bigger constraint, yeah, there's no way you could get this good. Uh, space. Uh, it's only the recursive call stack and the deepest that will go is actually the length of the array So space is actually constant and we're not using any other things besides these variables up here. So yeah um, You can actually call space O of n Technically because of the recursive call stack. But I'm just gonna leave it O of 1 make it just as simple as possible So yeah, hope this made sense and demystified it a little bit. So thank you for watching